Seventh race, condition and claiming pacing fillies and mares are on the track and pretty to the post. Racing one mile, the eight horse is a late scratch. Post time in nine minutes. Number one is Kate Kate, owned by Effie and Betty Clark of Washington Courthouse, Salvia Long Trains, Brad Hanners Drives. Number two, Tusana Hill, owned by John Land at the Milford Center and Earl Devonport of Paul, Earl Devonport Trains, Del Miller Drives. Three, Primrose B, owned by Leonard Bailey of Pickwell, Ohio, R.J. Brown Trains for Mike Wilder. Four, Sizzlin Samantha, owned by Purvis and Gray of Xenia, Davis of Lebanon, Carl Bray Trains for Randy Tharps. Five, sharp looking Philly, and train driven by Larry Tinch of Franklin. Number six, Brent's Kilatika, owned by Harold Schnott of Columbus and Hildebrand, the trainer for Jeff Fout. Seven, Air Scooter, owned by Schmidt of Findlay and Shelton of Plain City, Jim Shelton, trains and drives. Eight is scratched. Number nine, Jory, laced by Ruth Campbell of Xenia, Sherry Myers trains, Dave Myers in the Sonke. One play show trifecta, twin trifecta, wagering eight minutes until post. Eight minutes. Seventh race, pacing fillies and mares, solemn behind the gate. On the back stretch, there they go. And uh, they're off from the far outside. Brent's Kilotika, fastest of all, from the inside and second, sharp looking filly. Off the pylons comes Kate Kate. Tusana Hill was a bit sluggish leaving, but she's now fourth on the inside. Primrose B out there, but it's fifth, two lengths, sixth on along the rail, Sizzlin Samantha. On the rail in seventh air, Scooter, the uh, trailer eighth, Jory, as they round the first turn. On the front, Brent's Kilotika setting the pace, but to the outside, here comes Kate Kate with an early quarter move. The opening panel, 29 and 3. Kate Kate now taking charge to Sana Hill, uh, rushing quickly to the outside and to Sana Hill. Moving to the front, quickly takes the lead. Kate Kate to the inside is second. Brent's Kilotika now with good racing position as third. Sharp looking filly is next in line, fourth. Primrose B, two lengths, fifth. Sizzlin' Samantha coming first up on the outside is sixth. Air Scooter locked at the rail, and here comes Joy to the outer flow with live cover. Now racing seventh. They're at the half, and 59-3 and three to Sana Hill. Controlling the pace here, getting a big breather there in the second quarter. Gaffing slightly second, Kate Kate. And Sizzlin' Samantha moving briskly on the outside. She's now second to pressure the leader, and she takes Joy right with her, who has the cover in his fourth. Brent's Kilotika at the will is fifth there. Scooter to the outside is sixth. Off stride goes to Sana Hill, and heavy favorite off to Sana Hill is off stride and making a break here. And now the leader is Sizzlin Samantha. She takes that lead. Three quarters, 129. Sizzlin Samantha, an eight to one shot with a lead by two. Jory is the closest to challenge. Kate Kate at the will is third. Brent Kilotika fourth. Less than a sixteenth to go, and on the front, it still. Sizzlin, Samantha, Joy to the outside as their second. Kate, Kate coming to the inside, showing some late pace. But on the front, it's Sizzlin, Samantha, the battle for place goes to Jory, followed third by Kate, Kate. The mile 159 and one. Track sound is the unofficial winner, number four, Sizzlin Samantha, four year old daughter of Noble Land Sam for the painter mayor, Polly Painter. Will by Purvis and Gray of Xenia, Davis of Lebanon, Carl Bray trains, Randy Tharps in the Sonke. Coming in from Lexington, recording her third win of the season, the mile 159, one fifth. Finishing second, number nine, Jory, third.